I'm Henry Kronqvist, and I'm the Dean of the Arduous College of Business and Economics at Chapman University in Southern California. And today, we're very excited to be interviewing Anna Marie Ellis, the class of 2016. And she studied here at Chapman, and she is also a 40 under 40 emerging leader in the gaming industry, and she is based in Las Vegas. Hi everyone, my name is Tori Wayne. I am the class of 2026 and I am your Ardros College of Business and Economics Senator. Welcome to Anna Marie and we are so excited to see her lifestyle, her future and what she has planned for us today. Our first question with you today, Anna Marie, is you have been at your job for seven years. That's very impressive to stay in an industry for so long. So can you tell us a little bit about your expertise, how you got into it, maybe what your job is in itself, and why do you love your job? Awesome. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, yes. So I actually work with my family. Uh, we have a, a small business here in Las Vegas, a gaming company. Um, it's called Ellis Island Casino. It's just one street off the strip. I actually started working there when I was 14. So like very, very on the, on the food and beverage side. Um, so in the summers, every summer we would, you know, my sisters and I also work with us as well. So we'd all work anywhere from marketing to accounting growing up each summer in high school. Um, I knew I wanted to study business in college. And I thought that going away for four years was going to be a great opportunity to kind of branch out. But I always knew I would come back and work in the family business. So it was really always something that was of interest, specifically hospitality and hotel. Um, so I did a couple of internships throughout college, um, specifically in hospitality um, and uh, food and beverage technology, and then um, moved back home, started in human resources, which was a great spot to start full time. I learned all of our policies. Um, there's a lot of, um, you know, amazing pieces that you, you, you learn there. And then I um, got very interested in gaming, actually. Thought I would uh, go specifically directly in in our hotel, but I started casino hosting. So really on the floor operations, learned the ins and outs of customer service, um, all of the all of the great all of the great pieces that go into making uh, a gaming uh, company work, which is which is a lot of different pieces. Um, so that's kind of where. I got started and then um, worked my way up. I've been a, a vice president of operations for the last year now. Um, so uh, very grateful that I get to work with my family every day and um, offer great, uh, fun, unique experiences to Las Vegas guests. That's great. Um, you know, so you're up and coming professional in the hospitality industry. So for people that want to be in, in the hospitality industry, like our students, what are some of the attributes that tend to be valued in the industry that they should, uh, you know, have or they should try to nurture? Yeah, absolutely. I mentioned service. I think that's definitely the most important. So creating unique entertainment, that's really what gaming is all about. Hospitality is all about just unique experiences and entertainment that people are going to remember. Um, also, marketing is a huge piece. So especially in Las Vegas, it's extremely competitive. Um, so you're, you know, working against, you know, mega, mega resorts, or you could be a boutique hotel, a little bit smaller like we are. So knowing your product, knowing what you offer, and then being able to communicate that to guests and players to differentiate yourself a little bit. Um, of course, there's all the Departments like similar other businesses that are important, accounting, IT, um, compliance is a huge piece in gaming as it's extremely regulated. So um, if those areas are of interest, I would say that's amazing. And um, but it all does come down to in, in operations is taking care of guests and knowing what um, knowing your get knowing your customer, knowing what they want and then knowing how to take care of them. So, yeah. Nice. Speaking of operations in itself, you are the VP of operations. So tell us what it's like that to entail in a company what operations are. Is it the fact that you have to be the first one there in the morning managing and functioning all the things or is it that you need customer relations and things like that? Yeah, that's a good question. So gaming's 24-7. So it's it's truly that that was a huge thing that I had to learn, right? 
right off the bat. I can't be there all the time. So you have to have a team that you rely on. Um, and building that is, is super important, um, because you can't, you can't do it by yourself. Um, so operations is really anywhere from, to your point, right when you walk in the door, what is that experience like? What are they going to um, see when they first walk in? What kind of slot machines should we have? How many tables should we have? Um, what time should the restaurant close? All of those things that kind of make the experience. Um, so I work with, I have an amazing team of, of um, professionals that have worked in the industry for a very long time. Um, anywhere from, you know, old school Vegas is what they call it. People who have worked, you know, from the, from the really early times. Um, so keeping that level of hospitality that a lot of feedback that we get from our guests is it's our property is how Vegas used to be, which means, you know, you know, you don't, you walk in, they know your name. You're not just a number. Um, we have a lot of repeat guests. We also have a lot of local guests. So we're kind of unique in that. Um, we cater to locals and non-locals. So people can walk from the strip, enjoy a steak dinner and not, you know, spend the same amount of money that they maybe you would have um, on the strip. So people like that experience. And so just making sure that all of those day-to-day -day, um, functions are, are going on also from Player development is a is a department that is is in hospitality and gaming, and it basically means knowing your players and knowing what to offer them. So um, people come into Vegas and they gamble and they get you know certain offers in the mail or in their in, you know direct mail or email um, to try to get them back in. So creating that um, those different offers and level of tiered players is a is a program that we um, spend a lot of time on and try to hone in and offer the best thing that offer the make offer the most that we can and to create the the best experience for players. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of what I kind of encompass and 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 help with um, at our property. And then the hotel is also really awesome and, and great because we have um, it's a smaller boutique hotel, so we can do some unique things in the rooms and and again, just making sure that that those guest touch points are all very positive. So great. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit, Anne Maria, about your college experience here at Chapman. So you were uh, also you had um, also a specialization in entrepreneurship. You spent some time with our Leatherby Center and did other things. So tell us about some of the skills that you picked up uh, here that has then turned out to be helpful in your professional career. Yes. So um, yes, I emphasized in entrepreneurship and management. Um, and I I loved spending time at the uh, incubator and being part of the entrepreneurship school. Um, so being being part of I did a couple of internships with different businesses that were in that school as well. So uh, I would say the biggest thing in terms of skills that I learned through that experience is you know, just really networking, knowing, um, you know, not being afraid to ask questions, not being afraid to ask if you are, you know, if you can participate in programs that maybe are a little bit of a reach. Um, I, I was very involved with the business fraternity Alpha Kappa Psi as well. So that was very fun. Um, so I, uh, I, I had made some of my best friends are, are from that organization and still very close, um, with them. So that, that organization is also very much ran like a business. So that was a great experience. Um, just, to just as, as you're, kind of managing classes in college to have a, a resource and group of people that, you know, it was social, of course, but it also was very educational. Um, a lot of people also did get internships from that, um, pr you know, being part of that business fraternity. Um, that was, a, it was a great way to meet people. And, um, I, I loved that experience. So, um, yeah, that was that those, you know, being able to, build a team, all of those organizational skills that aren't necessarily something that you can learn from a textbook. That was, that was some really impactful things from Chapman. Yeah. That's really great to hear. Alpha Kappa Psi is still on its ongoing commitments to its business fraternity lifestyle. They are still popping off at Chapman, if we may say. And so it is really fun to see that functioning environment. So speaking of the gaming industry in itself, this is a follow-up question. 
I wanted to know, is there any stigmatism with the gaming industry? Do you feel like some people walk in and they're like, no, I don't want to gamble today. I don't want to spend money today. How do you change that environment and overall change a perspective of a person? Yeah, I mean, I think that if especially I grew up in Las Vegas, so it's been part of my life, my entire life. So it's a little bit different than someone who's never been inside of a casino. Um, but there's something for everyone. So if you don't want to gamble, don't gamble. There's food, there's shows, there's, um, you know, you can you can sit at a bar and just hang out with your friends. But, um, you know, there it's 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 all about creating a fun environment. Um energy that's just creating that fun fun energy and 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 vibe inside of a casino floor but no absolutely it's not going to be for everyone um but i i do think that it's becoming much more common practice to to open casino you know there, there's many more casinos other there than in las vegas now um so it's it's a it's an industry that is um, very fun, very successful. There's a lot of jobs in it. Um, and even if it's not on the gaming floor, like I mentioned, um, you know, anywhere from accounting to IT, technology is a huge piece of, of gaming. Um, there's also all of the companies that operate casinos, the, the, the systems. There's a lot of jobs in that um, market as well. So, uh, you know, you, you walk into a casino floor and there's there's, you know, you, you have a player's card, it's part of your loyalty program of the, of the casino, but that, that system that controls all of the data and all of the analytics, um, there's a whole lot there. So even if you're not interested in, um, it, if you don't like to gamble, there's, you, you know, there's still a lot you can do in the industry. So I would be an example of that, actually, because <laughs> I don't engage in that much gambling, but I still love to go to Las Vegas because it has many different things that you can do. The restaurants, the shows and, and all of that sort of the, the entertainment, the business side of the entertainment uh, is, is something that is important to us uh, at Chapman as well. Now, talk to us a little bit about your internships. So you did a number of those, actually, uh, in uh, several different areas. What, what would be some of your advice for our students that are seeking internships now? Yeah, I would I would absolutely say to take advantage of the time that you have during college to do them. Um, I also did a international um, credit for my international business credit. I, I uh, took advantage of that opportunity to go to Dublin, Ireland and intern for a um, hotel there, the Maldron Hotels and did a reservation specialist internship. So that was that was amazing, something that I would have never been able to do if I wasn't at Chapman. Um, so I got to go over there, do some traveling as well, um, but also learn um, from from someone on the, on the other side of the world. And um, I got to learn a few different, um, they use the same system that we used at home, their reservation system. So I got very familiar with that. So that was a nice little leg up that I had. Um, and then at, at Chapman, I uh, interned with uh, a couple different um, uh, groups in the incubator, the, in of the uh, entrepreneurship school. So I worked for one that was, doing a, a new point of sale system, um, food and beverage point of sale system. So did a lot of research on, on those different systems and got to kind of, you know, share some so, small experiences that I had with them working um, at home in, in food and beverage. So um, I would just say to take advantage of all of those and also maybe find one that's a little bit more creative than the position that you anticipate getting out of college because, you know, this is the time where you can do that and get a little bit more fun with them, a little bit more of a reach um, and uh, have just to have fun with it. So yeah. and sometimes with the internships, you also learn what you don't want to do and which direction you don't want to go. Did, did you have some experience like that when you had an internship where you're like, oh, that's not really for me? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I worked with one that was a um, a job seeking uh, one kind of like an Indeed um, but so it was interesting in, in human resources when I worked there, I had a little bit of, of insight, but I ultimately did kind of realize that I 
didn't want to land in in that space specifically within um hospitality it wasn't it wasn't kind of a match for me so but to your point it is great to have that experience and to know that um you know I tried it out but there's other things out there so well, you have certainly found your fit and you're up and coming and we uh, celebrate your success with you. So we have been talking to Anna Marie Ellis today, who is the class of 2016 here at Chapman University. And we uh, look forward to follow your success in the future as well. Thank you so much for your time today and good luck with everything.